Hi everyone. Today we're going to continue with our example. Um, we're asked to find the free response for uh, both of the masses given the following initial conditions. Um, in, two, in the two previous videos uh, we found the natural frequencies and in doing so we uh, started by finding the governing equations. We found the um, eigenvalues and the square root of the eigenvalues gave us the natural frequencies. In doing so, we also found the um, matrix uh, of masses and the stiffness matrix. In a following video, we calculated the mode shapes by solving the eigenvalue problem. And so we found the first mode shape uh, and the second mode shape. So since we have two degrees of freedom, we also have two mode shapes. As well as, of course, two natural frequencies. You can infer from that that a system with an infinite amount of um, degrees of freedom would also have an infinite amount of natural frequencies, such as is the case in the real world. All right, now, to calculate the free response for both of the masses, we're going to take the, re the, the results that we found previously, and we're going to calculate the modal matrices, and actually the inverse of the modal matrices, P and omega, knowing that to create the P matrices, you simply have to uh, glue the um, mode shapes together. And to get the omega matrix, you simply have to mod uh, multiply every, mo every mode shape by its corresponding natural frequency. The second step is to find the values of the constants a1, a2, b sub 1, b sub 2. Uh, the equations are given below and these are the constants that we're going to find in the free response equations. Um, if you take a look at this equation over here. If you have initial velocity conditions that are equal to zero, such as is the case here, then you can deduce that the omega matrix multiplied, or actually the inverse of the omega matrix multiplied by a zero vector will lead to b values b sub 1 will be equal to 0 and b sub 2 will be equal to 0. So when we get to the third step uh, which we calculate the, the free response this term over here will simply disappear because again the b values are equal to 0. So let's get going. Number one, we're going to create the P matrix by stacking up our mode shapes. We're going to take the inverse of that. And we are going to find zero point seven five three nine zero point two four six one zero point three zero four six and minus zero point three zero. Four, six. Very quickly, if your calculator doesn't ca uh, do the um, can't calculate the inverse of a matrix automatically, just know that if you have a matrix A equal to A B C D, then
is equal to 1 over AD minus CB. This term over here is the determinant of the matrix. So it's 1 over the determinant of the matrix multiplied by this guy over here. Essentially, we switched A and D and then multiplied C and B by minus 1. Now, we're going to calculate the omega matrix. Which is pretty simple. So we have 1 multiplied by the first natural frequency. And that's 11.3480.0. Times the first natural frequency is 9.1691. Here, since it's 1, we're going to find the second natural frequency, which is 24.9243 and minus 61.6926. The inverse of that matrix is 0 0.06643, 0 0.02684, and Minus zero point zero one two two two. All right, almost ran out of space there. Now we can calculate the constants A one and A sub two. our initial displacement conditions. So we get zero point zero four four nine three zero point zero five five zero seven all right remember that b sub one b sub two is equal to the omega matrix inverse times a zero vector and that leads to b1 equals b2 equals zero. Finally we're going to write out the free response
state matrix is 1, 0 0.808, 1 minus 2.4752. We said that A1 was 0 0.04493 cosine of the first natural frequency, which is 11.3480. And then A sub 2 times the cosine of the second natural frequency, which is 24.2943. And finally, what you find is And that is our answer. Notice that the free response is simply equal to the linear sum of the cosine of the first natural frequency and the second natural frequency. So it's just a combination of both. If you want to have this worksheet as a PDF, I've posted a link in the description below. Thanks for watching.